Episode 116 of the Daily Bespoke Edge. I am Ryan. We are back for another episode. And today in Denver, as I look out the window, it is kind of overcast, kind of gloomy. It's sprinkling on and off. Therefore, we are talking about the umbrella. Now, a little background for um, you know my context and where I'm coming from. Out here in the Denver area, not many people are carrying umbrellas, especially if it's going to rain. Oddly enough, you don't see a lot of umbrellas. And that's partly because out here we have kind of a uh, frontier attitude where we just kind of tough it out if it gets a little rainy. Or we break out the uh, rain shell. And I'm not talking about a nice looking trench coat. I'm talking about you know the camping style rain jacket, which is probably fine. Um, but of course, if you're watching this blog though, you probably are a little more you know style minded. And you might say, well, I would prefer to carry an umbrella because if you're wearing a suit or a sport coat, the whole thing just looks a lot better than throwing on uh, a rain jacket that smells like a campfire and putting that over your nice suit. So, a couple notes on umbrellas. This is the one that I carry around. And I have to admit, I have a handful of stories where I'm out roaming around and I'm carrying this umbrella um, you know, just in case it might rain. And I always get a compliment. It's pretty cool. Again, it's kind of rare to see anyone carrying an umbrella, much less one like this in the Denver area. So where you live could be different. I'm kind of curious, by the way. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think in your area. But on the topic of carrying an umbrella, one, I think it's an awesome thing to do, obviously. But secondly, here is one that I have. And this is, of course, kind of very old school. It's got the curved handle. Um, it may or may not be real wood. I think it is. And kind of a little um, aesthetic appeal with a, a leather band here. But this was actually off of Amazon. I bought this a couple years back and it was literally, I think, $30. So not a real expensive purchase. One of my, uh, you know, more proud of this purchase than a lot of things actually. But this is very basic and yet very, you know, eye grabbing. Like this is a, usually a conversation piece. People are like, oh, that's a very, that's a cool umbrella, nice job. So again, a very, very simple thing where, you know, at Bespoke Edge, we're always looking for ways to kind of set your style apart in a practical, very affordable way. And so this is a really good example, 30 bucks. And it's worth noting that it's not a, um, a novelty umbrella in any way, right? It's kind of an olive green, very basic. Therefore, you can go with anything else that I'm wearing. This is the only one I own. It doesn't look really rain that much out here anyway. But all this is in stark contrast to the type of umbrella that I think most of us see the most often. And that is the uh, very short, kind of compact little umbrella. And it's usually just black or in charcoal. And, you know, nothing unique on its own. It's just a, uh, an umbrella that seems like it should be squeezed into a golf bag, for instance. So it's kind of fun to have something with a little bit more um, flair and style in kind of, in this instance, a nod to kind of the old school tradition in the old school style with the rounded handle and the wood. Uh, it really goes a long way, I think. So, what do you guys think on this whole umbrella topic? Uh, is it something that you do carry around or would you consider carrying around because it is kind of a pain. I mean, it may or may not rain. However, if it does rain and let's say you're with uh, some company, you are the one guy that has an umbrella that keeps everyone dry or at least uh, that one special person that can fit under the umbrella. So, let me know what you guys think on a whole topic of umbrellas and what is uh, your go-to style and why. We'd love to find out about it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Really, really, really appreciate the attention. We're gonna keep doing these videos. And if you ever have questions, uh, I'll be getting a handful via email and comments below, which is perfect. Keep them coming and we'll keep making the videos for you.